Okay, somehow Albuquerque got pretty lucky. Two city bus crashes in one week could have easily been deadly, but nobody was seriously hurt in either accident. There is a lesson in this. Stuart Dyson is here with what we can all learn from it. Stu. Well, Tom and Tessa, it's all about seat belts. They work. So use them. The onboard cameras on these buses tell the tale, and it's not a tall tale. It is strictly nonfiction. Last Friday, pickup truck runs red light on West Central Avenue, slams into city bus. Driver is practically catapulted through the windshield, but somehow manages to stay inside the bus, suffering only minor injuries. Lucky to be alive, but likely to face some consequences. Bus drivers must wear seat belts. We will be looking at the standard procedure that we normally do, the process for uh, accidents and infractions. Uh, he could face some sort of uh, discipline for that, but um, he is a good driver and he has a good record. No passengers on that bus, but on this bus Thursday, there were some. Plumber's van runs red light on Cole Avenue at Girard. Smashing into bus, it swerves across a front yard and rams into the living room of a house on the corner. Passengers shaken up but not seriously hurt. The driver, yes, wearing her seat belt. A young woman sitting on her sofa in that living room somehow escapes without injury. And the drivers of those two trucks that ran red lights and smacked into the buses, they suffered some injuries but nothing too serious. No word as to whether they were wearing seatbelts. We'll find out. Back to you. Stu, thank you.